Hey y'all, I'm Chris and this is Brantley and today I'd like to do a special video uh, just teaching Brantley who's two a little bit about woodworking and uh, fixing things. First of all, a little shout out to my buddy Jervin from St. Kitts. Um, he sent us these t-shirts and uh, buddy I really appreciate it and uh, can't wait to, to meet up with you again man and just see you and, and uh, hope you're doing well. and. Uh, this video is dedicated to you and uh, just to good friends and family. So I um, wanted to showcase this project that my dad did. Uh, he's done one for each of his grandchildren and he actually has eight grandchildren now. And he has made a toolbox for each one. And Brantley is two and he made this for his first birthday. Um, and he doesn't believe in giving kids Toy tools. He believes in teaching them uh, how to use real tools. So, pretty cool project. He freehand routed Brantley's tools on the front of it, and it's all pine that he glued up. Um, and then he put some window latches on, um, some little rubber feet on the bottom, and inside of it, and he put some cheap tools, um, a hammer, a pair of small pair of needle nose pliers. Um, here, we'll just let's show off your tools, buddy. Uh, a screwdriver with adapter bull bits, a utility knife, I keep the blade hidden in the back for this one, a wrench, uh, just a basic set of tools. But today, Bradley's going to get a tool lesson. Bradley, what is this? Do you know what this is? What is that? That's right, it's a screwdriver. What are these? Do you know what these are? A screw. A screw. Would you like to put the screws into the wood? I do. You do? Okay. Daddy's going to get you a different screwdriver because these are square bits. Can you turn it to the right? Can you turn it clockwise? Hey, watch. You turn it. You put it in and you turn it this way to make it go into the wood. Can you do that? Oh, well, that's. So you turn it to the left when you want to take it out, and, okay, Mr. Independent. Okay, good job. Turn it all the way until it lets the screw go down in the wood. Can you say righty, tighty, lefty, loosey? Can you say that? Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey? Good job, look, you, you turned it into the wood. Can you do the next one? Good job, lining it up. Learning good life skills. Now he's gonna go get a clamp while you work on that screw, okay? Can you turn it clockwise? I do. You do? Here. So one important thing when you're teaching kids, uh, this actually isn't meant to be a kid's workbench. It's meant to be part of a, a stand-up computer monitor platform for my work. But um, just keep them up off their knees and, and you should have a good workbench height just like you would want uh, for your workbench. Oh, that's a nail. Would you like to learn how to use a nail? I do. Okay. So we'll put your screwdriver down and we'll clear off the workbench top. What do you need to pound in a nail? Uh, do you know? I do. What is that? A hammer. You need a hammer. That's right. Okay. Can you get your hammer out of your toolbox? I do. Okay. I do. Good I job. Do. Now that's a claw hammer. Can you say claw hammer? Claw hammer. Now you be careful with it. Do you know how to use it? Okay. Daddy's going to start the nail for you, okay? Ready? So you hold it with one hand and you pound very gently, lightly. Here. Okay. Daddy's going to teach you how to hold it, okay? So you hold it all the way down here, like this, all the way near the back. And you can, since you're, there you go, now gently tap it. 
Can you do that? Make sure you hit the nail. Good job. Good job. Would you like to start the next nail? Here, let's start another nail. You do it. Hope Daddy be gentle. Good job. You put that nail in. Look at that. You want to do another one? I do. Careful. Good job. Okay, be gentle. Aim well. Let's You want to, here, finish this one first. We're doing this one. You have to finish one before you move on to the next. There you go. Now, if you hold it back further on the handle, you'll have a little bit more control. There you go. Now try it. Oh, okay, let's try it again. There you go. Then we'll hold it for you, okay? Let's fix your safety glasses. So one thing that I have ordered right now is a pair of toddler-sized safety glasses. He's wearing the smallest pair I have. Um, but they're still kind of falling off his face, but uh, I'm not going to have him around any machines or uh, doing anything that's high risk um, that could compromise his eyes. But sometimes on sunny days, he does have uh, little kid sunglasses that we've worn in the past. What is that, Brantley? Can you show your other tools? I do. Here, show the camera what you have. What is this? Do you know what this is? What is it? Can you say it loud? A level. A level. And what is, <laughs> it doesn't taste good. That's, look, do you see the bubble? See how it moves? Anyhow, folks, I just wanted you to encourage uh, the kids in your lives, whether that's your kids or your grandkids or a nephew or niece, uh, to get in the shop and tinker. And they're never too young to start learning. He knows the name of tools just from seeing me use them and talk about them. and. Uh, it's cool to see him take an interest in it. And uh, once again, I don't think they can be too young to learn and just obviously use good safety skills. And uh, you can start teaching those safety skills and uh, safety techniques early on so that they'll develop good habits as they uh, grow into their woodworking. But uh, thanks for taking the time to stop by and watch. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, uh, please subscribe, like it, or uh, share it with your friends. And uh, this video was inspired by my dad. He was a woodworking teacher for 33 years and um, continues to teach even though he's retired. And uh, thanks again, Jervin, for the t-shirts. See ya.